All right, Baruch Hashem. Good evening. Exciting time. Tomorrow, Rav Hashem Shavuos. Coming, Baruch Hashem. Amen. So we are learning Torah Samech Bay sixty-two. So Rabbeinu said, until now, that it is through the eating of a Jew, when he eats the way a Jew is supposed to eat, he is causing, he's bringing about the ultimate purpose of creation which is the unification of Kuchavrihu, which means the Baruch Hu. hold the way he is outside of the borders of this world. And Shkinte is the Kodesh Baruch the expression of Kodesh Baruch Hu in this world, the way that we perceive him. Right now, it is a gradual process. You know, you do things properly. So it's a gradual process. You said even the Chut and Shkintei, the different levels of it. There's Ocha Be'ochar, Ocha Be'ponim, Ponim Be'ochar. The highest level is Ponim Be'ponim. Arena says that when a Jew eats properly, you know, the way it's supposed to be, he is bringing about Yichut Kusha Bechul Shkintei, Pony by pony. That was the highest level possible. Just not talking about not talking about eating Shabbos, not talking about Rosh Chodesh, not talking about Yom Tov. Also, he eats sitting down, eating scrambled eggs, eating. It's not the brachos. Of course, the brachos have to be there. Otherwise, what do you mean eating properly? Brachos is part of it. I mean, it says that the thing that act. Actually, the, this thing depends on is the purification of the food. And we explain the purification of the food is when the Jew eats with a muna, when a Jew eats for the purpose of Tzarek Adish Baruch Hu, then, then, then this is the purification of the food. And it says the main thing is Amunah. Then Rabbeinu goes into um, another, you know, puts down another building block. And he talks about the Das. The Das is that, Rabbeinu says that there are things that a person can't understand, like, for instance, the conduct of Kodesh Baruch Hu, Within creation, this not you know if you learn Torah and you, you do it properly, then you are able to to give answers on those things. Not always, Rabbeinu says, but still. But then there are things about Kodesh himself, as it were, that there's no way to even to begin. The Kodesh Baruch Hu knows. The Kodesh Baruch Hu remembers. What does it mean? Who's the Kodesh Baruch Hu? What does it mean he remembers? What he else? These are things that we have absolutely no way. And no place asking any questions about. And we have to rest on a moon. And says, and even those, 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 those mind pretzels that that should have answers sometimes, you know, the 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 avenues of one's intellect gets clogged up, you know, temporarily, whatever it is, and boom, a little stickle of is coming into his heart. So, so Rabbeinu says, he says that that Benizel Kabbah Pikosos and Deal Hashem Mal Hashem La Pikosos. He says those are Pikosos the whole Chazal Pchinos. So each one according to his own Pchinah. This is how his Pikosos is more or less. A person can tell. So he says Rabbeinu says that a person has to serve Kodesh Baruch Hu bechol with two. It's a tov and it's a ra. 
comes the question, how do you serve Kodesh Baruch Hu with Yitzhahara? Answer is, you want to do something you shouldn't. You really want to do it. <laughs> and you don't. You overcome the Yitzhahara. And you do what the Yitzhahara tells you. This is how you serve Kodesh Baruch Hu with Yitzhahara. Because without Yitzhahara, there'll be no... What's the point? There's no Bechir. There's no... The whole, you know... You know, if anybody could hit a home run, you know, what's Babe Ruth all about, right? I mean, it has to be. <laughs> they say we can learn from the eggs of our own children. And I was doing. They right. Was doing. Children, yes, was yes, doing. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Rabbeinu says, Rabbeinu says that, that, that when, when the Yetzara wants one thing and you want, some, and Yetzara wants something else, this is called that your heart is not complete. Your heart is not complete with the Kodesh Baruch. There's strife in your own heart. Your heart is divided. Yetzirah wants one thing. Yetzirah wants something else. That's a one. So there's something else. So he says that Abinu says that you have to make peace. You have to make peace between the Yetzirah and Yetzirah. What does it mean, peace? It doesn't mean, okay, listen, nine to five, it's me. <laughs> five to 12, it's you. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what it means. Peace, right. <laughs> peace in a person's heart it means that the Yetzirah becomes subservient to the Yetzirah. To such a point that, that the Yetzirah doesn't doesn't hack your chinik to do the thing because Baruch doesn't want. So comes the question we said before. No, so you don't have a you don't have a anywhere anywhere. So what do you do with Bechira? Okay, so the answer is that once your Gashmi is the you know, uh, um, is 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 under. Is subservient to Yetzirah. Yetzirah, your Yetzirah, Yetzirah of Tzadikim, is, no, 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 is a Malach Kodesh, a holy angel. What does it mean? It's an angel, that's the source, that's the root of the Yetzirah. And his job, the job of this Malach, is to confuse you. But the tzaddikim, there's no longer a question, am I do, going to do a mitzvah or not going to do it? I'm going to do an avera, uh, not today. It's, it's no longer an option. So what's the yetzahara? The yetzahara is that they don't really discern what it is that Kodesh Baruch Hu wants from him. Moshe Rabbeinu, with the rock, right? This is, so just speak to him, hit him. This is this all kinds of... Well, the Ramban says that it's not the hitting or the, or the speaking, but rather uh, that, that Moshe Ben got upset. So the tzaddik, when the tzaddik has a shtickle, you know, uncertainty, what it is, what it is he's supposed to do. You know, and, and we find that this is, if I say, it's a horror, and at great depth, we find that that was the thing that the Kaddish Baruch who left up to Moshe Rabbeinu in Matatara. Sure. He let he left open for Moshe Rabbeinu to figure out himself yeah. before Matan Torah. Next week, we know that who said to Moshe Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu said in Torah Kuf Tzadik, says to say, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, the people say, I'm sorry, the same came to Kadosh Baruch Hu. And they said, Kol Hashem Hashem Nasa. Whatever Hashem says, we're going to do. <laughs> With a jolly good fellow, I'm Israel. So it says, V'yavim Moshe Divrei Amin Hashem. Moshe Abinu brings the words of Am Israel. This I'm to Hashem. So Hashem answers him. Prepare the the people for the third day. 
I will come and I will speak to you and, uh, you know, and, and prepare the people, you know, for the third day, you know, and, and then, you know, this is when the Torah will be received. And then the Torah says, again, Moshe brought the words of the people to Hashem. We didn't find that in the meantime, the people said anything additional. So what is, what was the first thing? Moshe Rabbeinu brought the words of Amisur to Hashem. Hashem says, okay, prepare for, th for, for the third day, I'm going to come. So Moshe Rabbeinu brought the words of Am to Hashem. Hashem says to him, the third day I'm going to come and I'm going to speak to you and then I'm going to listen. And even in you, they will believe forever. So Rabbeinu asked, what is the second Moshe Rabbeinu bringing the words of, of Am Yisrael to Hashem? He didn't say anything. So Rabbeinu says it's as follows. When Am Yisrael says, everything Hashem says, we will do, they were actually saying, if a Kodesh Baruch Hu tells, us, tells a person to do something, a person you know, has no choice. He must do it. You're here, Kodesh Baruch Hu, telling you, of course you do it. You cannot do it. It's like taking a stone in your hand, dropping it, and it says, I don't want it to fall to the ground. I mean, it's, it's no bad show. So, so Kodesh Baruch Hu said to Moshe Rabbeinu, you're right. So he says, you know, come to third, I'll come the third day, I'll speak to you, they will hear, they'll have a choice. Uwa, uwa. Bo Hashem. Or the guest, Kananahara, old friend. So, so, Rabbeinu says that what Moshe Rabbeinu told Kodesh Baruch Hu, all right, so you fixed Am Israel. They're going to have choice. You're going to speak to me. They will listen. And they will say, okay, they'll have a choice. They want or they don't want. So, but what about me? He brought the same taina of Am Israel. What about free choice? What about me? I will not have a choice because you speak to me. So I'll have to do. So Kodesh Baruch Hu says, go prepare the people, you know, you know, today and tomorrow, the third day I'm coming. So Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, he left it up to Moshe Rabbeinu to decide. Moshe, the Gemara says Moshe Rabbeinu added the third day from his own volition. So the Shabbat said the third day, which means two more days. Moshe Rabbeinu said, he gave a drasha. Hayom Machar. You know, today and tomorrow, he says, tomorrow has its previous evening together with it. So it must be that today also, at today where you start counting, also needs to have the evening before with it. So I can't start counting from today. I have to start from tomorrow. That means that it's not going to happen the day after tomorrow. Uh, it's it's going to uh, it's going to happen like the day after the day after tomorrow, like four days. You know, with today it's the fourth day from now. So, Rabbeinu, Rabbeinu says that was the choice of Moshe Rabbeinu, whether to receive the Torah or not to receive the Torah. So it was, was it's not possible to receive the Torah on the third day. Because you see, I'm, I'm sure it would have come because Rahu wouldn't have been there. Because Rahu came on the fourth day. Because Rahu agreed with him. So we need to understand this exchange. What's going on here? Rabbeinu says in Torah of Beis, Choysem to Choysem. That the job of the admonishers of the admonishers of the generation is to tell the people to tell the people when they're doing something wrong. And there's a whole process because you can't 
they have to conceal it because otherwise it will become, everybody will know what it is. Yeah, you know, the clippers will know what it is and they can bring about horrendous ramifications. So they have to conceal it. But on the other hand, they have to reveal it. So what gives? Are they going to conceal it? Are they going to reveal it? So Rabbeinu says they're going to reveal it and conceal it when they reveal it. And Rabbeinu says, in order to be able to receive the Musar from them, you have to receive the Amunah from the seven shepherds of the generation. Shepherds, Royim. You know, shepherds, Shirab Salah, you know. What you know? Shepherds. So they are those who tend and raise the Amuna. Shon Eretz reside in the land, or Amuna and shepherd Amuna. Tend to Amuna, grow Amuna. So you can understand a little bit why, why do you need to receive from the seven shepherds Amuna in order to receive the Musa from the admonishers of the generation. The answer could be that they cannot say it out loud because then the clippers will understand. But if you have a Muna, a Muna doesn't just mean it's a Muna's Chacham, you believe in the Tzadikim that everything that they say, there's great secrets in it. And everything that they do, I mean, what, 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 what's supposed to believe in Chacham? What's supposed to believe? What's Pshat Amunah's Chacham? You believe that they know Torah? You can hear it. You can see that they know Torah. You read and have Sforim, you know that they know Torah. What's Pshat? You believe in them, you know. The Pshat is that you believe that there is secrets. There are secrets and mysteries in everything that they say and everything that they do. Mysteries. mysteries, secrets in everything that they do and everything that they say. They know the secrets what they say? Sometimes yes, sometimes not. A good question. Very good question. I asked this question too from my rabbi. What's the, question? the question is, do the tzaddikim, are, are the tzaddikim aware of the secrets that are intrinsic in, their, in what they say and what they do? So the answer is sometimes they do, you know, and sometimes they don't because they are totally tired. So it's Mimela, you know, Mimela in everything they do are secrets and everything that they do. When you have a Munas Sadiqim and your rabbi, you come, you sit, let's say you come to speak to your rabbi. Let's just say, just give me the, you know, an example, for instance, yeah. The, the uh, the your rabbi has the cup on his right side. He always has the cup. Yosh, Yom Yosh yeah, he has always has the cup, his drinking cup, on the right side. You come to meet him. He sees you coming sitting down. He takes the cup, puts it on the left side. If you believe that he's just somebody like you, I don't know. Maybe he's right hand. Hurts, I don't know. So you go to that side. But if you have a Muna, that everything that your Rebbe has, says and does has tremendous sadness in it, when he moves the cup from the right side to the left side, he's telling me something. He's telling me something. And I have to start looking into myself. What is it? And when I look at myself, I believe that he's telling me something. I just don't know what it is. And I look at myself to help me find what it is. Then I, I get his musr without him totally exposing it. And the clippers cannot take from that. But the job of the tzaddik is even more than that. The job of the tzaddik is to foresee problems with Amisro. Musadic problems that are going to raise. Am Israel comes to Moshe Abeinu. Everything that Hashem says we'll have to do, which means we're going to have to serve Kodesh Baruch Hu without Bechira. Man, that's wrong. 
said, who? Why are you being such tzaddikim? No, 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 we want to say Kodesh Baruch Hu with, you know, with choice. Why? Kodesh Baruch Hu wants to say without choice. What do you care? What are you being so religious all of a sudden? Moshe Abeinu brings this to Kodesh Baruch Hu. Yes, he told him, he brought the dvarim. Kodesh Baruch Hu says, <laughs> you're right. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come. And I'm going to speak to you. And they will hear. And they will believe in you. They have a choice. They'll believe, and even in you, they'll believe forever. So Moshe Abinu says what he says. Okay, what about my choice? So Kodesh Baruch Hu tells him, okay, third day I'm coming. I mean, tomorrow, today and tomorrow I'm coming. Third day I'm coming. Bring the people. Moshe Abinu things. He says, you know something? We have to add another day. This is the, this is the, what's going on? Why does he have, does he have to, what, what's the Indian of adding another day? The answer is, Moshe Rabbeinu has already, he smells something not right. What he needs to do, he needs to prepare, first of all, for Amisra to catch itself red-handed and prepare in advance the rescue of Amisra in case they do have some hanky-panky in their heart. What does he do? He says, what tomorrow has its previous evening together with it? Today also needs it. So we're going to suffer from tomorrow. Look at something absolutely unbelievable. When the people made the egg of Azov, what does it say? And the people saw, that's era of saw, that Moshe Rabbeinu is late, Kiboishish is late, they decided, listen. We need to have somebody, you know, to lead us, you know. It's only normal. It's like, 40 days, a long time away. <laughs> no, no. The thing is, no, no, you're supposed to come on the 40th day. He didn't come on the 40th day. Rashi says and un reveals an unbelievable secret here. What was the mistake? No. They said what for the 40th day, they did not say maybe the 40th day, you know, needs to have his evening before with it. So maybe you're supposed to come tomorrow. Wait. No, 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 immediately. Moshe Abeinu added another day, Kiviyocho, in order to catch them red-handed. If you really want to serve Kodesh Baruch you'll wait another day. You'll dart in, what's the problem? You know, today, what tomorrow has its previous evening together with it, so we have to add another day. Okay. So they also has, you know, we have to add another day. If they would have done it, they would have waited another day. But if what they really want is they want what they really want, their own desires, they'll fall in this trap. And once they fall in this trap, because Jeboho wants to say, finish them off. Moshe Abena has an unbelievable pre prepared uh, excuse. Moshe Abena says, Lama Hashem Yechero Abcha Bamen. What are you so upset? What's wrong? What do you mean? What's wrong? They serve the, you know, they serve the golden calf. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Why are you so upset? It's about as I base. Take it easy. What's it? What are you talking about? So much of the way you said, you said it to me. You didn't say it to them. I just see you single. You said you're going to speak to me, and they will choose whether to accept it or not. They have free choice. And when do we actually receive the Torah? 
You know, the Torah is actually received on the seventh day. What we are, the, the, uh, the Marsha counts the time. It says, Matan Torah actually was on Zion Sivan. So what business do we have to celebrate Vav Sivan, right? Vav Sivan is the day of Moshe Rabbeinu. We are celebrating Matan Torah in the, on the day that Moshe Rabbeinu added. No, he added, he added. Hmm? Oh, and the, yes. He's clarifying the words of Hashem by starting from the following evening. She's not adding, he's just clarifying. It has to be three complete days. Right. You can't count today, so it's going to be the fourth day. But the Marsho brings about that Lemaisa, there are two problems with it. So the Hashem said, there's another problem, which is a much harder problem. Lemaisa, the Marsho counts. He says it's, it's supposed to be the, originally supposed to be the sixth. He made it the seventh. There is a condition that the world cannot continue to exist without I'm sorry, seeing a terror on Vav Sivan. How can you add another day? I don't care what your drusha is. How can you add another day? There's a huge secret that, Rabbe, that Rabbeinu reveals in Sephora Maisius during the Maisa of this third betra, the betra that was Kvad Peh. Who do we know there was a Kvad Peh? Moshe Rabbeinu. And over there, Rabbeinu says that the Betle collects all the Hasadim and gives it to the great Ish Chesed. You know, there's a story with the heart and the fountain. And comes the end of the day and there's no more time. The world is going to disappear. The world is going to stop existing. That's what Rabbeinu says over there. And it says, and the great Ish Chesed takes all the Chesed and creates another day. Gives him another day. Moshe Rabbeinu added another day. How can he add another day? No, no, he added another day. Midaitoi. From his own Das, he created another day. Keviyochol, the day is not from the, in the calendar. It's outside, extra calendar day. It doesn't it fits into my liberations without adding another day. It's not possible for a human being to understand what is the meaning of that. But that is the Koyach of Tzadik. So there, over here, is, oh, we see that that, that Indian, that, that Tzadik, by him, the Yetzirah is now no longer you know, to do something bad. By him, the Yetzirah means, what does the Kodesh Bohu want? Milan Kemosha Abeinu, the unbelievable, profundity and depth of what's going on. That's just the surface. We don't, you know, that's just, we just scratch the surface of what's going on. Yeah. Can you started, you mentioned about food and that that's the highest avoid. So is that connected to this in terms of the tzaddik trying to find most specifically the Ratz of Hashem, that that's what the struggle is when it comes to the Tzadik Ramez, and that this is Mikush of food, as I mean, not can explain could be a lot of in our time and look with Siyas Apat, with the Suda, that the more specific the bracha you make, the greater your misgale, the achtus haposhit of HaKash and therefore, the Tzadik needs to go ahead and find the specific Kabbalah of Hashem, so Moshe Rabbeinu understands it has to be a whole three days, therefore, that's the struggle, and that's potentially the union of Achila is the same mm -hmm. union to find the most specific bracha, which is the scala of the Achis of Pashtadosha. It seems, it seems that what you're saying is right, because he's saying here, what do you need to do? You have to say, you have to serve Kodesh Baruch Hu belev sholim, with a, with, with a complete heart. Everything becomes one. There shouldn't be a strife, a chiluk in the heart. The tachlis is that everything should become one, so it must be connected. I mean, I don't know, but it, you know, sort of like makes sense that this is how it's collected. And he says, and just to finish this off, Abeno says that that which a person doesn't know with a complete heart when he doesn't, that a Kaddish Baruch Hu is there and he's listening to you. 
you know what? Basically, <laughs> in the Hebrew to say, begadol, you know? In principle, <laughs> the, fa the fatal <laughs> phraseology, in principle, we agree, in principle. But if a person would have believed that the Kodesh Baruch Hu is standing on him, and he's listening to every single word you're saying, a person bevada would daven with tremendous islahabas, with with make sure that every single word is said properly, you know, the way it's supposed to be. He says, Abinu says that the fact that a person doesn't know it. That in itself is that because it's in his heart. The heresy in the heart is the fact that you don't know. You don't know Kaddish Baruch, you're not cognizant that Kaddish Baruch is listening to you right now 100%. Okay. You know, I remember and forget. No, he doesn't say I don't know. It just davens and has, you know, it doesn't, as if Kaddish Baruch is not there. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. He he dav, he prays as if Hakadosh Baruch is not there. I mean, he's aware and he's not really aware. So Rabbeinu says the part that is aware is the Yetzatov. The part that you're not aware that's the Yetzahara. That's the that's the precursor in a person's heart. That in itself is what a person needs to get over. And 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 the he says Astor say idea hen hen apikosus vikashis that the Yetzahara is hardening your heart. In order to understand, Bezat Hashem, next week we will learn how to fix. Next week, okay. Next week is Shavuos, so we're not going to do it next week. All right, okay. My boo boo, my bad. <laughs> I think of, uh, yeah, I saw recently the idea that that the that the uh, golden calf is. Facilitated, I would say, by Hashem. Meaning, the people did what they did, but because it was supernatural, they had to, right. they right. had to have had the energy of Hashem to be able to have that. An energy that could be mistaken. That it, it, it was, you know, it, it, was, it was a good fake. It was a convincing enough fake. Rav Nelson says something unbelievable. He says the main sin of the golden calf was the fact, you know, the 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 the, the son of men showed him, showed them, you know, the gurney, no shabbin on top of it. He's dead. We need somebody else. Rav Nelson says, the biggest problem, the biggest sin of Am Yisrael is, let's say that you're right. And Moshe Rabbeinu did pass away. So what? Moshe Emes Vitoroso Emes, which means it's not feasible, not possible that Moshe Rabbeinu has left this world without leaving in this world his foreign and his Talmidim that can lead you. If you believe oh, you love this world, what do you want from me? We have to have elections. We have, you know, whatever. Ah, if you don't have a moon, you don't have a moon and Moshe Rabbeinu. You want to say that he's dead? Yes, sir, it fools you into thinking that he's dead. Fine. So what? Trust the Kodesh Baruch Hu, Trust the Koyach of Moshe Rabbeinu. Bevada, he did not leave this world an orphan. That's the main chetayegah. That's the main problem. Zayishmoy shelo yadana ma'ayelon. Well, no. That's the problem. That's the chet. That Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu Shabim Zakeas. V'zrat Hashem. First of all, to have a gewaldige chodesh. Incredible chodesh. And Bezat Hashem will have Kabbalah Satoro, Besimcho, and Bezat Hashem will be Zerich, Bezat Hashem, the Gula Shlemo, and Mashiach Bezat Hashem will come, the Krabi Amen, Amen. 
Slow her up all. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 